the Rain E Plus has always had a special place at Giants. The model for the 2022 season follows this tradition too. Giants itself speaks of the new Super E2 Enduro. The easiest thing to recognize from the outside is the new wheel concept. In the future, the Rain E Plus will have a mixed wheel configuration. At the front, you will find a 29 inch wheel. At the rear, a smaller 27.5 inch one. The larger front wheel offers maximum directional stability. In contrast, the 27.5 inch rear wheel supports more agile handling. The shorter chain stays aim in the same direction. Giant has removed around 15 millimeters in each frame size. At the same time, the stack has somewhat increased. In terms of its riding characteristics, the Rhine E Plus is more versatile and a little more playful than before. The wheels are Etrix carbon wheels and feature an inner width of 30 mm. They are tubeless ready. However, Giant delivers the bike with tubes in the casings as standard. The second important update concerns the motor. The top model, the Rain E Plus Zero, features the newly developed SynDrive Pro 2. Its torque has increased by 5 Newton meters. With 85 Newton meters, Giant is now on par with comparable motors from Bosch and company. At its peak, it delivers a 400% support. Previously, it was 360. At the same time, the engineers have been able to reduce the weight of the motor by around 300 grams. It currently weighs 2.75 kilograms. Due to its more compact dimensions, the ground clearance of the Rain E Plus has increased by 37 mm, which will make it much easier for you to overcome obstacles. Stronger, lighter and smaller. It's obvious that Giant wanted to pack on a lot and the manufacturer has succeeded, especially since the Syndrive Pro 2 is also supposed to be quieter than its predecessor. The Rain E Plus Zero has a larger battery. It now has 750 watt hours. This means that the Energy Pack XL750 offers you around 20% more range. According to the manufacturer, you can expect up to 230 kilometers. However, this only applies to absolutely ideal conditions. In really demanding terrain under high load, it's more like 70 or 80 kilometers. Please note that the Energy Pack XL750 will only fit in selected pedalex from the 2022 season due to its slightly larger size. It is simply too big for bikes from the 2019 and 2020 seasons. Of course, there is also good news. You can combine the Energy Pack XL750 with a range extender. In the end, this adds up to exactly 1000 watt hours. The battery is covered by a new cover. This has become part of the frame and is no longer screwed to the battery. You can loosen it by hand via a screw at the upper end of the down tube. A total of six clips hold it in the frame. In tests by Giant, these have not worn out even after 150,000 times of removal and attachment. To remove the battery from the frame, you first have to loosen another screw that acts as a kind of battery lock. The whole solution inspires much more confidence than in previous years. Like all 2022 bikes, the Rainy Plus models features smart gateway technology. The new integrated ride control go control unit is integrated on the top tube. It is intentionally kept extremely simple and has only one multifunction button and small LED lights in the form of two bars. With the button, you can switch the motor on and off and change the assistance level. The lights show you which level you are currently at and how much battery capacity you have left. The left bar shows the levels Power, Sport, Active, Basic, Eco, or the automatic mode smart assist in different colors. The right bar informs you about the battery charge level. If you prefer to manage everything from the handlebars, you can do so with the right control Ergo 3. This control unit is also small and minimalist. There are three buttons in it. 
by default. These are used to control the motor, activate or deactivate the smart assist mode and operate the push assist. However, you can also assign completely different functions to the buttons via the app. You are pretty much free to choose the position of the control unit. One of the new features of the RAIN E plus zero is the suspension fork. A Fox 38 float factory with 170 mm of travel is fitted to the bike. This clearly has Enduro format. The same applies to the shock. Here, the choice fell on the Float X2 factory from Fox in the 160 mm version. Brakes and gears are in no way inferior in terms of quality. With the SRAM code RSC and its four brake pistons, you always have control on the trails. 220 mm at the front and 200 mm at the rear means that you can push both brake discs to the limit without having to worry about reliability. The shifting components from SRAM prove to be equally perfect for uphill and downhill. The single drive with 12 gears is now almost a must on such a bike. The range of the cassette with 11 to 50 teeth covers everything you need off the road. The Rain E plus zero is rounded off by a proven chassis. Just a couple of keywords suffice to describe it. Flip chip and maestro. With a flip chip system, you can change the steering angle, seat angle and bottom bracket height. In the high position, you sit a little more aggressively on the bike and gain more dynamics on climbs. If you set the flip chip to the low position, you shift the center of gravity of your body to the rear and down. This ensures a more relaxed position on the descents. Also improves power transmission when pedaling on the flat. If you pedal hard, Maestro also comes into play. With single flexible pivot point, the system counteracts disturbing pedaling forces that usually cause the suspension fork to sink or the pedal to kick back. Maestro, on the other hand, improves pedaling efficiency. Details like this make the Rain E plus zero a bike you can make a splash with, even beyond the 2022 season.